Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about pick and roll post-ups. In today's modern game of pace and space, offenses are trending towards more and more ball screens within the half court. Typically, there are three scoring options that we often associate with the ball screen action. The first option being the ball handler attacking the rim or pulling up for a jumper. The second being hitting the screener as he rolls to the rim. And the third option being punishing the help defenders by kicking to shooters along the perimeter. However, one of the most overlooked, underused, yet effective concepts to create high percentage scoring opportunities in the pick and roll is the post-up. The pick and roll post-up happens when the screener, usually a big, does not receive the initial pass on his roll, so he turns his roll into a post-up. This usually ends in a deep post touch one of two ways. The first way being a direct entry meaning the ball handler who used the ball screen will enter the ball directly into the post himself. This usually occurs when the screener is not open as he initially rolls to the rim, and the ball handler is unable to get downhill and picks up his dribble. After rolling to the rim, the screener can duck in to achieve strong positioning in the post. This is effective because the screener's defender is worried about containing and defending the initial ball screen action. When the ball handler is cut off or picks up his dribble, the screener's defender will naturally relax, allowing the screener to duck in and post up. The second way a pick and roll post up can be achieved is through a kickback entry. This is perhaps the most effective way to achieve a deep post seal after a ball screen, and usually involves the ball handler kicking the ball back to the perimeter player filling behind his drive. You'll hear some coaches also refer to this as shake action. Kicking the ball back to the perimeter player filling on the drive allows the screener to turn and seal his defender on his backside since his defender was originally positioned to contain the ball screen. Well guys, there you have it. If you're a ball screen heavy team, think about adding some pick and roll post up work to your next practice. If you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly breakdowns.